This right here is one of the craziest updates we have ever had in the history of Call of Duty. This, my friends, is version 1.20 of Black Ops 3. That's right guys, the old Call of Duty game, last year's game, it just got a brand new update here in February and it's 1.6 gigabytes. What on earth could Treyarch be doing? Let's find out as soon as this finishes up. Alright guys, the update has finished and this is absolutely insane. So the question is, what could Treyarch be hiding in a 1.6 gigabyte patch? Like, that's a pretty big patch update. There's a lot of stuff that could be in there. And for the most part, we have no clue. Everything is kind of behind the scenes. After you update it, it's still pretty much the same game, except for one little crack where some information slipped through. And I don't think they meant to do this. So I'm not going to actually show you guys any images on screen. We're going to need some sort of a little, like, filter right here. And uh, then I can tell you guys about it. So first up... Under the weapons category and the assault rifles, there's a new option down there in the classified section, and it's the M16. And that's right, guys. The M16 is returning to Black Ops 3. It looks exactly like the M16 from Black Ops 1. I mean, it's been updated a little bit. It's got like a, a rubber band on the back stock that's holding, I think that's an Ace of Hearts. And it's got an 857 etched on the very butt of the gun. But uh, apart from that, it looks just like it did back in Black Ops 1, so that is insanely exciting. Now, the other thing that we can find from this update is actually over in the SMG category. We have the PPSH returning. That's right, guys, from World at War. I absolutely love that thing. It was just, it was a bullet cannon, man. Just dumped round after round after round after round downrange. It was a lot of fun to use and definitely one of the more unique weapons we've ever had in the history of Call of Duty. So uh, it looks like both of these weapons are gonna be returning to Black Ops 3 sometime soon, which is really, really exciting. Now, that's all we know so far, like that's all anybody's been able to find. I'm sure at some point somebody's going to dive into the patch notes on PC and be able to find more stuff, but uh, you know, I'm sure that's not all though, you know what I mean? Like we could be getting more weapons, we could be getting more maps, more game modes, more zombie experiences, who knows what's going to happen here, but uh, it's looking pretty exciting. And the fact, that, I mean, this is unheard of. This is unprecedented. We've never had this big of an update and new content coming to a Call of Duty game this late in its life cycle. So, uh, I don't know, this, this is exciting. We'll see what happens. They did say that they're gonna bring us some DLC, and as long as we're supporting Black Ops 3, they're gonna still support the community. So maybe, you know, all the way up until Call of Duty 2017, we could be getting new stuff for Black Ops 3, which would be pretty awesome. So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. M16, PPSH, this is absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Peace out.